With yes, we wanted to make Asu because the greatest dock eyes have always been Asu. Well, it's five battalions and above, really rich, resoundingly rich, deep wines. But you don't get that kind of botrytis every year. I mean, no. Wouldn't it be lovely? Mm. Nor do they anywhere. Um, so, what do you do? You have to, you, you grow in great grapes, you have to use a brother style's wine. And we've Actually, I, I would say we followed other Tokai makers in this regard. Really. We didn't invent dry ferment, but the ferment, our key grain, 60, two thirds roughly in the vineyards, is a sensationally good grape. It is an incredible grape. I've just tasted actually your, oh. um, the, the Tokai ferment dry, the 2007. It's a very, very big, serious wine. It really is. And it's, it's, it really is only for food. Isn't it? It's very aromatic, and people say what it's like. What is it like? I say, well, it's not exactly like this, but if you picture something between Chenin Blanc and Viognier, mm -hmm. <coughs> that's what it is. Mm -hmm. Serious like Chenin Chenin Blanc, but aromatic like mm -hmm. Viognier. And it's got the kind of, it's got the oiliness and the, the, the mouthfeel of Viognier, hasn't uh, it, it? Yes, it, it ha absolutely has, but wonderful acidity, you know, which is why it makes such great sweet wine. And you've got it down the screw cap now. Well, we're, no, not yet. We're talking about screw caps since, you know, it's the fashion, but why not? But I think that the implication of screw cap rather is, well, get your kit off and we'll bring you straight away. And I don't want to give that impression for our dry form because experience has shown us that it's at its best after about four years. So it's got a lot to say for us. We've got these like dry ferment styles. Um, are there more styles coming up all the time? Is there a lot of experimentation going on in Hungary? Well, we've rather it's, uh, given up the classic style, which was probably the most popular in the region, which was Samarotni. And Samarodny is it's, it's between sweet and dry. I mean, it's just whatever's in the vineyard. And it means as it comes, I think. Isn't it? As it whatever's comes. in the vineyard, just what, whatever you take out of the vineyard, you're not separating the metricized grapes from the others. You're not doing what you do to make asu. You're just putting it all in the press, and uh, away you go. Now, they then have a dry Samarodny, a sweet Samarodny, and all sorts of things in between. And it is very much the local taste. It's, it's a rather uh, quite brown, rather fiery wine. A sherry yeah. wine, isn't it? It can be. Mm. It depends on what you do in the cellar. Mm. It's been out. It's a, a simpler way of explaining residual sugar. Well, in the wine business, tradition has an enormous value. I mean, we could ex ex express it in terms of residual sugar, as <coughs> the Germans could express beer and ice later in terms of residual sugar, indeed. But, uh, but why do that? No, no, I mean, the, the, the local colour is important. It's just, in the case of Tokai, it is very complicated. You don't want to de demystify too much, do you? No, yeah. but by the time you've said people who ask you about four mint and the other grapes, you've already spent quite a lot of that time, and, and you want to get across the fact, you know, you want, you want to taste this. You know, tell me what you think about the taste, which is this wonderful dried fruit characters that you get. You don't find it any other way. Hugh Johnson, thank you very much indeed.